Family and friends are remembering a loved one killed in a motorcycle crash. Troopers say 41-year-old Thomas Fortner crashed Sunday night on Highway 19 West. The accident happened near the intersection of Whittington Road that's just outside of Barnesville. News 13's Hope Hanselman is there live. Hope Fortner wasn't found until the next day. That's right. His family began searching around 8 o'clock Sunday evening. Now, Fortner was traveling from his son's house to his fiance's house just along US 19W here. Today, we met with both ends of that journey, which he would never complete to find out just how much love this man left behind. You couldn't ask for a better person to be in your life. Recently, I've been hearing a lot of people tell me about how great of a guy he was. He um, had went to uh, see his son in Michaelville, and he texted me at 6.30 and said, I made it, LOL. I'll be starting back in a few minutes. Uh, I think I was the last person to talk to him because we, I mean, I, we can't know for sure, but he, uh, he'd rode down on this motorcycle the second time he had ever rode it out. And it appears that he just came out of the curve and just drifted off the shoulder. Uh, his inexperience on the motorcycle seems to be the main factor. This is where he went down up here. Last thing I ever told him was I loved him, you know, so. I guess that's something I can be happy about. We didn't estimate his speed at like 20 mile an hour, uh, so it's really just inexperience. I was there. I was taking my daughter to her friend's house, and um, her friend's dad was out looking for him, and I seen him parked beside the road. Anything he ever taught me, I, tr I tried to do it as best I could. I lost my best friend, and he was the best. I guess the hardest part hearing from the community is how much I look like him. And, and I don't know. Now his family has set up a visitation that's for tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Yancey Funeral Home. A burial is set for 10 a.m. Friday and they're opening that up to the public. If you knew him and want to share your condolences, we're live in Yancey County, Hope Hanselman, News 13.